السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, Good morning to everyone and good day for everyone and I wish you uh, all the best in your life with you and your family and your friends and your colleagues and your neighbors Today Muslims are celebrating the birthday of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم uh, the leader of humanity the best of mankind and the imam of all the prophets before him and the seal of the prophets sallallahu alaihi wasallam whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described him in the quran and saying innaka la khuluqun azim you just have the best of manner for mankind or he said in another verse of the quran wa ma arsalnaka illa rahmatan lil alamin we have sent you as a mercy for mankind and also in a third verse said wala kunta fazzan ghaliza al qalbi lam faddu min hawlik wa bi rahmati min allah linta lahum wala kunta fazzan ghaliza al qalbi lam faddu min with the leniency as a gift from allah to you you become very lenient and accommodating to all of them and if you are rough tough stone hearted they could have left you Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam also his wife described him sallallahu alaihi wasallam Khadija alayhi salam by saying after the revelation was revealed upon him and he was shaken said Allah will never will never let you down inna Allah lan yukhzika abadan why la'innaka tasil ar-rahm because you are very close to your kin to your relatives. وَتُقْرِدْ ضَيْفْ And you work very generous to your guests. وَتُعِينِ المحتاج And support the needy. وَتَحْمِلْ الْكَلْفْ And help the disempowered. وَتُعِينِ عَلَى مَصَائِبِ الدَّهْرِ And in calamity, you are the first one to support your community. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in his love as a duty to obey him. Obey him, obey Allah, and obey your Rasul, and obey the Prophet In obedience, obey both of them. And also said to honor him. Whatever the Prophet brought forward to you, you take it seriously and accept it and whatever he forbid you to do, don't do it. This is the character and the quality of the Prophet وسلم, whom Allah made him mercy for mankind and leader for all the prophets and messengers before him. Where are we from you today, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, on your birthday? How far are we from you, Prophet وسلم? If the Prophet Sallallahu come out today, he will never know us from the way we look, the way we speak, or the way we behave. Our religion became folklore. Singing, chanting, dancing, coloring of the coat of dress that we are wearing, whether we are women or men, hairstyle, putting mascara around our eyes and say this is men are doing it because of sunnah from the Prophet so what's next or the religion of ritual I go to the mosque 24 7 I'd be very nice there but when I come outside I become a liar a deceiver backbiter scandal monger this is not the religion of the Prophet ﷺ, not the religion of Islam. Are we going to celebrate the birthday of Muhammad ﷺ today by what? By nasheed, by poetry, by sermon, by advice, by party, by color of our dress, by a flag that we raise, by demonstration that we make, by chanting, by food, by drink. Is this the celebration of the Prophet ﷺ, of his message? No. Where are we from you, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you came out today and you found that I hate my Muslim brother and sister. 
I detest them. I deceive them and plot them for, the, for them, against them. I made wicked plan with the devil to deceive them, to prevent them from taking their rights. I steal their properties. Okay? I steal their properties, their wealth. I kill them. Is this the way to can stand and say that, hey ho, we celebrate the birthday of the Prophet and at the same time we are doing all this? No way. Where are we when the Prophet come out today and visit Syria and visit Yemen and visit Iraq and visit South Sudan? and visit Myanmar, and visit Eritrea, and visit Somalia, and visit Chad, and visit Central African Republic. Okay? And visit Afghanistan. Where are we? When he go to Mosul, and found city totally destroyed. Three to four million people displaced inside Iraq. From Mosul, from Dakrit, Salah din from Ambar. Men, women, children. Syria, 7 million displaced. 13, about 6 or 7 million refugees outside. Nearly half a million people are dead. And so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. Destruction, total destruction, total hatred. Hatred to humanity. In Yemen, more than 20 million people are locked in. Food shortage, water shortage, medicine shortage, everything. Fear and fear and fear is this. Are, how can we stand up and say, Oh, Ya Rasulullah, we love you, we celebrate your birthday today. By what? By being silent, what happened to those people? Nearly a million individual who fled from Myanmar to Bangladesh and no state making any statement about them. If this is the way to celebrate the birthday of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will know us, will he know us when he come out today and we are in the middle of the demonstration wearing the green and the white and the uh, clothes and uh, making the mascara on our eyes and chanting and dancing and raising the flags. The, who are you people? I don't know you. Go to these areas and tell me what's happening there. Are we close to you, Prophet Sallallahu When he knows that how many billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars were spent to buy yachts, to buy golden cars, to buy football players, to buy football clubs, to organize competitions, dancing, singing, to organize horse racing, to organize can racing, to spend incredibly on something which is not useful for humanity, even for ourselves. If this is the deen of the Prophet ﷺ, do we deserve to celebrate the birthday of Muhammad ﷺ by doing this? Will the Prophet ﷺ know us if he come out today and find us doing all this? No way. He will say, this is not my ummah. What's the solution? First is to believe, true belief, to have true belief, haqq al-iman. إيمان تؤمن به الجوارح ولا يؤمن به اللسان Believe that all your senses will submit itself to it, not only the tongue. When the Bedouin Arab, uh, Arab said that we became believer, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, no, 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 Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said, no, you became Muslim. But when Iman goes deep down into your heart, you become believers. It's number one. Number two, obedience to the Prophet ﷺ and Allah. 
Number three, our manner to be like the manner of the Prophet Sallallahu who was described by his wife, Kana Khulukul Quran. He was Quran like work, working on earth, and his manner was Quranic. Al Amal Salah. And to do the good deeds for community, as well as for ourselves. Al Amal Salah Al Fa'al. Number four, to build our society, to build our community, to build our nation on the basis of love, brotherhood, uh, humility, justice, and equality, and fairness. Number five is, number six is, give freedom to our citizen. Widen the space of freedom for them. Number seven is love, goodness for humanity, for the whole world. Not only for your people, not only for your group, not only for your clan, not only for your political party, not only for your jama'at, not only for your sect. No way. Hubbul khair lil alam ajma. Love life and provide life to every creature of God. Love life and provide it to all the creatures of God, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Respect all religions and sects and cultures and background. Respect. Don't be arrogant on others because of your wealth or because of your knowledge or because of your background or because of your tribe or because of your country. No way. Knowledge and education, knowledge and education, Knowledge and education is a must that we have to grasp for ourselves, for our children, for our community, for our society, for our country, for our nation, for our citizens. We have to fight ignorance, poverty, sickness, deprivation, and hunger, and famine, and starvation. Let me conclude by saying one of the says that one of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned or said in front of the Tsar of Persia. At the time, Muslims were very poor. Okay. And he wanted to send a message to the Persian leader. When he entered his palace, extravagant, the the, the Tsar look him, oh, he's a very poor man coming from the Arabia, so let us give him some food, uh, some uh, crops, uh, some uh, water, some clothes, some money, some, 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 some. But he responded back saying, because he had the belief of, not of his tongue, the belief of his senses, his heart, his mind, his soul, his organs, his dreams, taken by the belief. What Rabbi Ibn Amr said, لَقَدْ جِئْنَا لِنُخْرِجْ الْعِبَادِ مِنْ عِبَادَةِ الْعِبَادِ إِلَىٰ عِبَادَةِ رَبِّ We came to tell you that our message is to let humanity, slaves, not to be enslaved by human being, by kings, queens, emperor, but to become slave for God. This number one. Then we came to save mankind from the narrowness and the difficulty of this life to the ease and the comfort of this life and life to come. It's number two. Number three, to save them from the atrocity, punishment, and the aggression of the rulers to the justice of Islam. This was the message which we can celebrate it when we celebrate the birthday of Muhammad sallallahu Not chanting, marching, wearing colorful dresses, changing our religion into a folklore, into a song, into a nasheed, into a code of dress. Our religion should be celebrated when we stand strong to save humanity for the sake of God, to save human being 
for the sake of God. To save all the creatures for the sake of God. To bring justice, peace, equality for the sake of God. To make the human bond between every race, between every culture, between every individual for the sake of God. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is where the Prophet Sallallahu if he comes while, while doing this, he knows and he will know that we are his ummah. Not the ummah who waste the resources, who killed one another, who destroy one another, who scandal among one another, who behead one another, who become an ummah of ignorance, illiteracy, and deceive and hypocrisy. Today we should celebrate the good manner that we have. We should celebrate the suffering and the burden of the suffering that we have to build our community and our society, our country and our nation. To save our nation, humanity and the universe. This is where, if we do that, we'll have the right to celebrate the birthday of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Eid Milad Nabi, because Eid Milad Nabi never was a song or a speech or just a sermon or a, a, a nasheed or food or party or TV interview. The celebration of the Eid Milad Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is where we bring peace and safety to humanity. Salatu wa salamu alayka ya Sayyidi Rasulullah. Salatu wa salamu alayka ya Sayyidi Rasulullah. Salatu wa salamu alayka ya Sayyidi Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sayyidina Muhammad al-Nabil ummi al-Kareem wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Wa man taba'ahad jam muqtam al-Yawm al-Din. Ameen. Wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.